Highly radioactive water has been detected outside the turbine building for reactor number two of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant. Workers have already measured dangerous levels of radioactivity inside the building. We have already reported that radioactive water has been found in the turbine buildings for reactors one, two, and three. Now we have found water in the section between the underground area of the building and the sea, in the area called the trench. The TEPCO official said workers detected the contamination in the trench on Sunday. They recorded more than 1,000 millisieverts per hour on the water surface. To put that in perspective, exposure to 200 millisieverts of radiation is considered a health risk. The trench is connected to the turbine building by power cables and pipes. It stretches 76 meters to the Pacific, but authorities say it's not linked to the ocean. The water in the trench was one meter away from ground level on Sunday afternoon, and things haven't changed much since then. TEPCO says it's unlikely the radioactive water is leaking into the ocean. It took one day for the power company to report the radiation level it detected in the trench. Its vice president, Sakai Muto, said he only received the data on a Monday afternoon, and TEPCO had no intention of hiding it. Many things are happening on a daily basis. In this case, an extremely high level of radiation was detected in the water. For any such critical information, we must provide the information quickly. So I will reinforce the need to do so. TEPCO is trying to determine the source of the radioactive water in the trench. One possibility is the inside of Reactor 2's turbine building. The level of radiation in the water there was also more than 1,000 millisieverts per hour at one point. Japan's Independent Nuclear Safety Commission believes the contamination inside the turbine building comes from a nuclear fuel that may have temporarily melted. The commission believes the water came in contact with damaged roads in the reactor and somehow leaked out. A water containing radioactive substances is suspected to be leaking out of the containment vessel. That's affecting TEPCO's ongoing work to restore the cooling functions. Until recently, fire engine pumps were used to spray water onto the reactors, but on Sunday, TEPCO switched to electric pumps temporarily installed on the site. This would enable spraying a larger amount of water, but on the contrary, TEPCO is reducing the amount of water to be sprayed. Due to concern that water containing radioactive substances may leak outside as a result of spraying water onto the reactors. Are you trying to avoid the risk of water leakage outside? That's right. We want to prevent the water leak as much as possible. We want to keep the current stable condition within the reactors by spraying a smaller amount of water. However, if the water injection amount is reduced, temperatures within the reactors may rise. TEPCO is urged to deal with this difficult situation amid the need to cool the reactors and the risk of radioactive substance leak. This means that of the reactors number one through three, one or more or all have likely sustained damage to their nuclear fuel rods, which is why iodine, cesium and plutonium are leaking out. The most serious concern now that they have detected plutonium in two locations on the premise is to ensure safety for the workers. That is probably the most important thing. In the 1950s and 60s, nuclear powers conducted nuclear testing many times. As a result, plutonium was released into the atmosphere. TEPCO mentioned that they don't think the current level would affect the human health. 
as plutonium was already dispersed around the world due to nuclear testing by nuclear powers. Also in Japan, a very small amount of plutonium already exists in the soil. Humankind, including the Japanese, are surrounded by a small amount of plutonium in a daily environment. Even up until now, yes, plutonium was detected at two locations on the nuclear power plant compound on Monday, but the amount of plutonium detected was almost the same that exists in our daily life due to dispersion around the world by nuclear testing. So it is said to cause no health hazards to human. The detected level we will not affect the human health, as TEPCO explained, but still we have to be very careful. Yes. Compared to radioactive iodine and cesium, plutonium would have a substantially higher adverse effect on the human health when it's taken inside the body. One thing needed is to make sure that workers on the site wear a mask and ensure good protection against radiation by all means. Plutonium was detected from two locations of the soil. What about the other areas? Such a question will arise for sure. Of course, it's necessary to continue monitoring within the nuclear power plant. In addition, soil outside of the plant compound should also be surveyed. Otherwise, residents will be worried about how far plutonium and other radioactive substances may have dispersed.